recently on the World According to Briggs' YouTube channel. He claimed that Charleston was one of the top eight cities in the United States that are pricing out the middle class. Well, today, we're here to prove you wrong, Briggs. What's up, everyone, and welcome back. As always, I'm your favorite YouTubing Charleston realtor, Bill Olson, and today, we are proving the world according to Briggs wrong. You see, recently in one of his most recent videos, he was talking about the cities that are pricing out the middle class, and number eight was the Charleston area. And one thing I noticed was he didn't really back up anything that he said about Charleston with facts, just that five years ago, homes were selling for much less than they are today, which is pretty much everywhere in the country. So we're diving into this to show you that yes, if you are in the middle class, you can still purchase a home in the Charleston area. Now, I do want to note that I do love the world according to Briggs and his channel. It's amazing. You do awesome work, Briggs. Keep up the good work. And I know you love Charleston. So if you ever want to collaborate on a video about the Charleston area, I would be honored to do that with you. And for all my regular viewers, if you would like to see myself and the world according to Briggs collaborate on a Charleston video, let us know in the comments and maybe we can make that happen and get his attention. All right, now back to our facts. The first thing that I wanted to do with this was I needed to define the middle class. What exactly is the middle class and what is their income? The Pew Research Center defines the middle class as anyone having an annual household income between two thirds and two times the national median income. Now that's a really big income range when you think that the national median income is right around $80,000 a year per household, we are now looking at between $53,000 and $160,000 a year income. So how did we find out whether or not this massive income range is being priced out of the Charleston area? Well, first, I narrowed it down just a little bit, and we went to the middle of the middle class and we looked at families making that 80,000 a year and families making 130,000 a year. Now I sent these numbers over to my preferred lender and she ran some hypothetical situations to get us what that income can afford you in housing. What we found out was a household making that median income of 80,000 a year can afford approximately $279,000 in a home. And conversely, at the $130,000, you can afford approximately a $400,000 home. Everyone's situation is different for these numbers. We used average debt to income. We used a 5% down loan, good but not great credit, and some conservative interest rates. If you wanna know exactly what you can afford, I've dropped my preferred mortgage partner's information in the description below, or you can reach out directly to me and I can connect you with her to figure out exactly what you can afford in a home. All right, back at it, last disclaimer right there, I promise. So in Briggs's video, he really didn't mention too much facts about anything. Basically, he said that our upper class population has grown and that the housing prices in the past five years have gone up. Now that can be said about just about any area in the country. So aside from not really stating any facts, he just said he looked on Zillow and saw house, housing prices. Now he also didn't say where he looked. So Charleston is the city, but the Charleston Greater Metro actually covers parts of three different counties, and that's what we're looking at today to check this middle-class affordability. The three counties that we're gonna look at are, of course, Charleston County, we have Berkeley County, and we have Dorchester County. And as with most coastal cities, the further inland you get, the further your dollar is gonna stretch and the more affordable the homes are gonna be. And we're gonna see that as we look through our numbers as well. And as we jump into these numbers, Another stat I do want you to know, because you're probably thinking, okay, yeah, we can find a home 
in this price range, but there probably aren't very many of them, right? Well, you're wrong. We are seeing at homes under that $279,000 mark, about 20% of the active listings in the three counties are below that. And when we jump up to that 400 mark, about 44%, almost half of our market is under $400,000. So as you can see, we're not just looking at a handful of homes, it is a significant chunk. We're gonna start with our most affordable areas. These are the areas with a median sales price under that $279,000. Now, one is North Charleston with a median sales price of about $243,000 and Ladson and Goose Creek both with a median sales price of around 250,000. On average, the homes here in this price range are around 1,600 square feet, but it is not uncommon to be able to get up into 2,000 square feet with four bedrooms. Our second group of areas is gonna be slightly higher in price. That's gonna be in the middle between that 280 and 325 range. These areas are Somerville, with a median price of around $297,000, Monk's Corner with a $300,000 median sales price, Hanahan at $310,000, and West Ashley outside of the 526 Loop area at $325,000. These homes are going to be slightly larger on average at around 1,800 square feet, and again, it's not going to be hard to find a home over 2,000 square feet with four bedrooms. Now, lastly, we're gonna look at the few areas with a median price between 325 and 400. Now, they're all gonna be a little closer to that 400 range where we have West Ashley inside of 526, which is gonna have a median sales price around 360 and James and John's Island, which are gonna be right around that 400 mark. If you remember what I told you before, that the further away from the coast you get, the further your dollar stretches in housing. Well, these three areas are the closest to the coast, so they are going to get you the smallest home. For these prices in these areas, we are looking at right around 1,500 square feet and you're going to be hard pressed to find something over 2,000 square feet unless it's going to need quite a bit of work. So as you can see, looking at the data, Charleston is still affordable and has not priced out the middle class just yet. Again, if you wanna know exactly what you can afford, contact me or my lender. And if you're looking to sell or buy a home in the greater Charleston area, I would love to be your realtor of choice please reach out, let's connect, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one, hopefully with the world according to Briggs. Bye.